Hello, good morning, Squiblets. Are you ready to dive into the world of magical plants and nature and all that stuff? Well, buckle up because it's time to start growing. Here we go. Welcome to the Squibbles Live Show. Hello Squiblets, thank you for joining us on Tuesday the 20th of February 2024, I probably put 2023 somewhere because I keep putting the same date as last year, which is bizarre, even though we're in a new year, anyway, pff, welcome, it's Tuesday the 20th of February and we like to have themes on our show, today's theme is all about plants, now we're going to explore the wonders and mysteries of plants we're going to be talking a few facts about plants we've got a cartoon about plants from a up duck we're going to hopefully be chatting to our um people on uh, spaces about plants if no one appears that's fine we'll just talk about plants anyway and i also have a dentist appointment today so the show is just going to roll and it's going to finish and then i'm going to go and get some dentist using alginate probably which is actually a plant-based material made out of seaweed they use it to take imprints of your, of your teeth um, which is fantastic and i've also got some facts to read you so here's one so just like your favorite park the world of plants is a place where life flourishes and what do plants produce oxygen they produce oxygen. It's the basis of all the food and etc. You know, without plants, we would be scuppered. We would genuinely be scuppered without plants. My dad was an avid gardener. So he, the, my mum and dad bought a house and it has a garden. And it was very, very important to him. And he used to plant plants every single year. Personally, I feel like I've not kept it the upkeep very well and i know it's it, my mum can't do it because she's not really capable to do it but i could and maybe i could you know be for more of a love with plants because they inspire kindness and when you think about nature you know nature's very chaotic and that's inspiring to think that we're part of nature too and that we're also quite chaotic. We like order, human beings, but when it comes to it, we're quite chaotic, just like the trees, just like the bushes and the weeds. You know, weeds are very resilient. They come up everywhere. Plants come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, don't they? Um, from tiny mosses to massive trees. Like, some trees are like hundreds and hundreds, thousands of years old. It's just like, blows my mind how diverse the the world of plants is really and it's a world that we don't explore a huge amount as well really we i mean do you take plants for granted i know i i probably do and yet you see a plant you think that's a beautiful plant do you have house plants do you keep do, do you do you keep house plants nice and healthy water them regularly give them plenty of sunshine i mean you know i struggle because I get busy and, and then I forget. So we usually have succulents in our house. So we'll, you just water them every now and again. Um, but, do you know, something that fascinates me, like, like something that fascinates me a lot is lichen. Because lichen grows on rocks. And I learned this from my science friend. Apparently they grow facing north or something. Like all lichen. That may be not entirely 
factual, but I'm sure that's what he said. They fa they basically face, they all face the same direction. And you can actually tell where you are using Lycan, apparently. At least you can tell where the sun rises and the sun sets, so work out what direction, what direction you're in. You can use them to navigate, which I think is fantastic. I think that's an amazing thing. Um, and, you know, do you grow plants at home? Do you grow plants? Because if you do, I have to say that you're a superstar and you're keeping the oxygen levels right. You're making sure that your house is, is, is full of oxygen and keeps you healthy. And I mean, they say you should have plants to keep you healthy. Well, I agree. I agree. There's an aloe vera plant on that windowsill just over there and it looks like it needs some attention. And I feel I feel bad now that we're talking about plants. So I think that we should g learn about growing plants and we're going to I'm going to play with a cartoon now. And this cartoon is from A Up Duck and they're going to explore what it's like to grow plants. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn something from this. So let's check out A Up Duck and see what we do to grow plants. Hedgehog, we're going to plant it and then it will grow into a plant. What? That's impossible. A plant can't grow out of this. I know, right? It's so cool. Take a bit of soil and a sprinkling of water. Lots of sunshine. Give it some time. The plant will grow no matter how slow. What did we learn from growing plants there from A Up Duck? What did we learn? We learnt the process at the very least on how to grow plants. It's a very simplified version, but still. What happens when the plants grow? Why do they need sunshine? Photosynthesis. Now, photosynthesis is something that I learned at school. And you probably learned it at school too, in science, and it's very fascinating. And it's where plants use sunlight to make food in a process called photosynthesis. And the fact that they can make food just from sunlight has always fascinated me. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, now, if you're listening on um, x.com, hello. Hello to everyone in the room. Thank you for joining us. We've got Rose in the room. Uh, let's just see. We've got Rose in the room. Rose, if you're listening and you'd like to come up and talk about plants and growing plants and nature, then it'd be amazing to hear from you because that's all part of this show. We like to bring people up. We like to chat about these things. And it's always really great to get involved in, in what we're doing. Um, we have uh, an art prompt during our spaces, which we're probably going to probably going to do that now, actually. So it'd be really good fun. And we're going to do the art prompt based around our topic, which is plants and nature and the wonderful world of chaos that comes with the plants in our lives. So I'll grab your crayons and your tablets and let's do something. So we need to come up with an art prompt. Now, seeing as I'm on my own in spaces today, I'll come up with the art prompt. And I'm thinking, what could we draw? What could we draw? So let's just, uh, let's have a think. Hmm. Just watch this while I have a think. Hmm. Yeah, it's time for the art prompt. 
check your pen and paper or your tablet. Art prompt. I've had a thought. I think the prompt that we could do is something very simple and always a great thing to draw. A dancing plant. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, hello. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do this every Tuesday and Thursday. At the moment, I am planning on moving it to the weekend, which will be very exciting. Maybe in, in, in a few you know, in next next season, we'll move it to the weekend so more people can tune in. But Tuesdays and Thursdays, live on youtube.com slash jstansfield, live on x.com slash jstansfield. Make sure you're tuned in. Make sure you're joining along. We, we, we want your artwork. We want your music videos. We want to see what you are doing. This show is for you. And if you're watching and you know someone who's an artist, you know someone who's got a talent who wants to show it off to the world, then send them into the show. Get in touch. You can see it at the bottom of the screen. Submissions at thesquibbles.com. Get involved. This is shows for you as much as it is for the squibbles. I want to see your stuff. But in the meantime, let's do our art prompt, which is um, a dancing plant. We'll get some nice music on while we do it. And let's go. Let's go for it. A dancing plant. I want to turn this music down a bit, I think. It's, uh, it's a little bit loud. There we go. That's better. Okay, a dancing plant then. Let's turn that layer off. I mean, green's a good start, isn't it? Let's start with green. Let's start with green. What? 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 <laughs> There's something about the way that I give. Oh, oh, we're getting into that then. Or just singing a song. Let's do it. Let's start with green. Let's start with green. Here we go. Let's draw a stem. I'd say that was a nice dancing movement, wouldn't you? For a stem. Definitely a dancing movement. Have it nice and nice and curled like they're doing some kind of elegant elegant dance. That's it, let's just draw that there like that. Draw that there like that. Looking nice. Let's cap it off. Because I want to colour, I want to fill that in with colour. I think that looks pretty good. Do you think that looks pretty good? Like a wavy dance. That's probably how I feel dancing to this. Just move your body when you're drawing. Let's do a lighter green for the leaves. So I'm going to have one leaf here. Ooh, yeah. One leaf here. Ooh, yeah. Let's just colour it in a bit here so I can fill that in. I would normally do this a different way, but I'm doing it this way instead. Just to give it a little bit of love. And I'm gonna make the colour a bit darker. Shrink my brush a little so I can have some nice looking leafy looking veins on the leaves. It's funny how leaves are veiny. It's funny how leaves have veins. But let's draw those veins. Let's do the odd little dot here and there on the leaves. That's always a good thing to do. And what I want, I'm going to pick this colour. I'm going to use a slightly lighter colour and just add a bit of a shine on the stem here on this side. Like the light is... Like the light's on that side. And then I'm going to pick a darker green. And I'm just going to do it on this side where the shadows are on the other side of the stem. I think that looks quite nice. Just zoom in. That's quite a nice vibe. In fact, I can make him dance. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so that's looking good. Now then, I'm just wondering what kind of flower do we have? I want to say a big hello to Shane as well, who's jumped into the room. We're just doing a dancing plant Shane we're just drawing a dancing plant if you want to get involved with the drawing you will be more than welcome I think I'm going to give this a purple circle 
let's give it a purple circle I'm going to do it round and 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 round make it make a bit that was pretty cool looks like it's a radar maybe fill that in a bit that's it just fill in the plant there we go it's looking good I think that's looking good and I want some slightly lighter pink petals I think starting from in fact I'm going to do a layer underneath this layer so that I can have the petals underneath so they're not on top I don't want them on top I want them behind let's do that Oh, it's so chill drawing flowers, you know. If you don't draw flowers, or if you've never drawn a flower, now is 100% the time to do this. So I've got pink petals for my flower. Now I'm probably going to use a white colour. Make, make my brush a bit smaller and just again have some white reflections on the left hand side of everything. Oops. There we go. Just to give it that shine. And then what I'm going to do is get a darker pink. And again, put the shadows on the other side. Just to make, make it attract that light. Make it just look a bit, a bit tasty and a bit wobbly and just... I don't know, a bubbly, a bubbly flower. That's what it looks like to me, a bubbly flower. Now, I'm going to add another layer and I want to give it some eyes because, to be quite honest, it just needs some big, big white eyes. And then I give him some dark black pupils. Look in there. No, oh, he's looking at you. Hello? Hello? Here's a song for you, I'm a flower I'm being made by this guy, this guy And I don't know why but I'm happy That's nice to hear, flower Oh thank you You're welcome Let's carry on I don't know how you're singing without a mouth Me neither Let's give you a big mouth. I know. Oops. I've made your eyeball disappear. Okay. Big mouth, I reckon. Just a, a line, though. A wobbly line. <laughs> Come on. You need to smile more. Smile more. Let's get, let's get some squibbly smiles going on. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Colour that in white, white teeth. I don't know. I don't know what flower has teeth, but this one does. <laughs> yeah, very good. Now then, let's have a look. So he's dancing. I think we need some music notes on this. Let's get some music notes. So I'll have one music note here. Oh yeah, a music note here. Oh yeah, and a music note here. Ooh, ooh. I say that rhythm is da 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 da. Let's add a music note. So ba da 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 da. That's it. So it's one beat, and then you've got half beats. So we've got one. So we've got one da 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 da. Yeah. Let's make his. So if you ever want to make something look like it's moving or shaking, here's how you do it. So you, you add like two little lines like that. And it makes him look like he's shaking. I'll do it to the other one. Shaking his leaves, I'm gonna shake his stem. <laughs> Cause he's having the biggest boogie of his life. And loving it look at that boogie boogie now if you use procreate I'm gonna give you a tip now add a layer at the bottom and do use whatever brushes you want so I like to use uh, so I, I'll use like a this brush Taralia 
brush, which is a nice brush. I'm going to get a, a cool colour like yellow, because I like yellow and it's a bit sunshine. And I'm just going to just slop it around on the back there like that. Yeah, so it looks kind of funky. And then I'm going to get an orange as well, because that's a sunny colour. And I'm probably just going to do that in the corner there. And maybe in the corner here. And then I'm going to get a, a red. And I'm going to do it in the corner there. And do it in the corner there, because that brush is amazing. And we want to just get rid of that, those white bits. Because we don't want any white on the background. We want it to be nice and nice and summery. Summer's on the way. You know, summer's on the way. And I think that... Having a flower like this, well, I'm skipping spring, aren't I? I do like spring. Spring's on the way. The flowers are springing up and then summer's coming. So we've got our, our nice painted looking background there, which looks beautiful, actually. Now, something I actually like to do is use the half-tone brush. So I'm going to use a half-tone brush, drag it a little bit just to give it a nice kind of print vibe. Can you see that? I just love half-tone things. They make me happy. And one more thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to get up the colour white. I'm going to get a nice, solid brush that I, that I made, my hug brush. I made that for Squibbles hugs. And I'm just going to go around the edge of the plant to make it look like a sticker. Because not only do I like plants keeping us all alive but I also like stickers and so I'm going to make this look like a sticker by going all the way around with this white white brush and it's quite a solid brush so it takes away takes away the edges of the brush that I used to create the plants creates a bit of contrast against the background and just makes it a little bit a little bit better to see hey my music stopped come back I'm probably going to go around the music notes as well like so just around that one and around that one better around this one better that's the rhythm of that Da -da. And this one, da, ba da ba da ba da da, ba da ba da ba da da, ba da ba da ba da ba. And finally, without further ado, I'm going to sign it. Let's sign it. And I'm going to sign it here. Because I think I'm quite proud of that. I think that's quite a decent drawing. I'll post that in the um, I'll post that in the spaces chat, so you can see what I've done very very soon. Um, so that was exciting. I, I really really enjoyed doing that. That was a nice that was a nice process. I hope you joined in at home. If you did, send us what you've done. You can send to submissions at thesquibbles.com and we can put it in our gallery we're compiling all the work that we do in our art prompts and putting them in our gallery that we show each week so let's go back to spaces <laughs> hello everyone in spaces i hope you're doing well um i'm just going to share my drawing in spaces with you oh, let me just save it and do all the stuff i'll i'll, I'll do my best to talk and walk at the same time. I do struggle a little with that, but we'll uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. I believe in myself. So let's post it here. I'm doing it. It's going in the comments. I've done it. I posted it. Then I can pin it just like that. That is good. We're also streaming live on TikTok and we're also streaming live on X.com. So if you want to watch the video live, please do. If you want to chat, come and jump up. We've got a little bit a little bit longer to to talk um, about things and share our artwork if you've created any. If you're making artwork with AI, fantastic. Share it. Let's have a look. So I'm going to try and pin the um I'm gonna try and pin the work. But, oh we've got we've got Shane up. Hiya Shane
How are you doing, my friend? I'm assuming you're talking to me. There, there's always I'm that little bit of lag. There's always that little bit. <laughs> there's always that little bit of lag when you uh, get or, uh, when you, when you request up to speak to when you're a speaker. So. There is. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I just up uh, up a little bit early today, drinking my coffee. So I figured I'd uh, come support and tune in. Well, that is fantastic. I'm gonna I'm gonna share my artwork with you so you can have a look and see what you think. Hang on, let's have a look. I'll pin it to the top of the space. Oh, that's that's cool looking. Is that a new what, yeah, you probably did it, did that in what uh, fifteen minutes? Yeah, fifteen minutes. <laughs> that's all we've got for your prompt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's impressive. I uh, I used to do a little bit of drawing, but uh, I I was more into the, uh, the 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 comic book type of style, uh, like superheroes and stuff like that. I think my question to you is, have you got any songs about plants? Have you written any songs about plants or anything like that? No, no. I don't think so. Might be worth don't making one. Think... Have you got your guitar? I do have my guitar around. You should play us a plant song. You can make us, make us a plant song up, Shane. You're good at making songs up. Yeah, it's... It's a bit early in the morning, and I sound like, uh, or I feel, I feel like Barry White at this point. <laughs> I have to uh, Could write a song about um, the deepest plants, the plants that grow deepest in the earth. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, at, at some point, I, I, you know, I, there's there's probably a different theme every day and i i rarely catch your spaces because they're so early yeah I know. but uh, i am i am going to be shifting i am going to be shifting the spaces to the weekend i think along with the whole live stream just so that more people can tune in and enjoy it and get involved the weekend the, at the at the same time or what uh, no it'll, i'll be shifting the time so more people are, are awake and be not at school or uh, you know doing other stuff. So I'm I'm going to look at, at tailoring it so that more people can tune in, both in America and in the UK primarily. So sure. Because, what time is it there for you now? Say that again, Shane. Said so what time is it there for you now? Uh, it's it's half past twelve at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So see, it, uh, it's tough because. You know, if you go into the afternoon for us, then, you know, you're getting into kind of family time or it's, uh, dinner time or, you know, time to go to bed or, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so my, my intention is obviously this is a family show. So I want to aim it at families so that families can draw along with the art prompts and get involved in the conversations and watch cartoons and music videos and all that. So... That's that's the purpose. That's the purpose of it. Um, so we, we're going to go to a gallery now. So I don't know if you're watching it live, Shane, on X.com, but if, you, if you're checking out the visuals while you're on space, it's fantastic. You can do that. I've pinned the post to my um, account at the top. And you can you can see what I'm about to present, which is a user-submitted gallery. We're always after people's artwork. Um, so I want you to feast your eyes on some stunning creations by two wonderful artists in 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 the world and um see what you think here we go
wonderful. I hope you enjoyed that display of natural beauty. There were some nods to plants and nature in those pieces of artwork as well, if you if you did notice, which is amazing. Uh, I've got a fact for you about plants. Um, some plants can communicate with each other through chemical signals. They can warn each other about pests and even attract helpful in insects. Helpful insects. They can attract insects that help them to grow. Now that's amazing. That's amazing. And and talking about that, I want us to take a look at a music video. It's called The Sunflower by MS Made. And it's a it's a beautiful, beautiful music video. So it's a couple of minutes long, but I think you'll really enjoy it. Um just check just check this out. Please, let this be the time. Over 99% accurate. Clear blue. Darlings, my new Hollywood beauty icon lipsticks. When I'm good, I'm very good. Matte, as fun as a scandal. So soft, it says hold me. You think that you'll die without him. It's a lie that you tell yourself You fear that you lay alone forever now It ain't true, ain't true, ain't true, no So put your arms around me tonight Let the music lift you up like you've never been so high Open up your heart to me Let the music lift you up like you've never been this free Till you feel the sun rise Let the music warm your body like the heat Crying in the club, hey, hey, let the beat carry away Your tears as they fall, baby Ain't no crying in the club, hey, hey A little fake, your tears turn to ecstasy Ain't no crying in the club Ain't no crying in the club Ain't no crying in the club You may think that you'll die without her told yourself you fear that you'll never meet another so pure but it ain't true ain't true ain't true no. so put your arms around me tonight let the music lift you up like you've never been so high open up your heart to me let the music lift you up like you've never been this free so you feel the sun rise let the music warm your body like
Wowzers. The power of pollinators. And the beautiful song as well to boot. Absolutely wonderful. Who was that again? That was uh, Made by MS was the, the video. I'll be putting a link to that in the live stream once it's um, once it once I've finished it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was about pollination, about sunflowers, and without those, you know, we, we'd be scuppered. Particularly those kinds of those kinds of plants, they just the seeds blow through the sky and then they pollinate everywhere, and it's just amazing. Um, I've just got a couple more facts before we wrap up the show today because I'm on a time limit today because I've got to go to the dentist, Shane. I don't want to go. Can you can you motivate me? <laughs> I need motivating to go to the dentist. <laughs> Do you like the is dentist? It just, is it just the uh, general visit? Yeah, it's just a check-up. Oh, well... Then I have no motivation for you because nothing fun, nothing fun's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> um, a couple more facts: uh, plants impact our lives, from the air we breathe to the food we eat. Plants impact every aspect of our lives. They also provide medicines, clothing, and shelter. I mentioned this before: how they use alginate in the dentist, and that's made from seaweed. So plants are everywhere. Um, another fact: get involved in greening. You know, you can you can make a difference by planting trees, creating a garden, or even just learning more about the plants in your local area. And finally, wow, you know, what a journey it's been today. Been some wonderful people in our spaces. Shane, that's you. A big hello to everyone else. We've got Songs of Eden, the Mumsels, and also Polygon Alliance. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, if you're watching. And... Shane, I would like to say, do you have any final words for our spaces and for our live stream before we depart? Sure, sure. sure. Plants. Oh, plants. They can grow between the... between the cracks in the concrete. Oh, plants. Oh, plants. Roots grow deep beneath the grass. Oh, plants, oh, plants, they can beautify a landfill as long as you feed them a little bit of sunlight and chlorophyll. Plants. Shin. Woo woo! That was brilliant. I love that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone at home for watching. Remember to tune in. We're here at the moment Tuesdays and Thursdays, 12 pm GMT, 7 a.m. EST. That is very early. It's very early for Shane. So massive appreciation to you there, my friend. And until next time, keep growing, keep learning, and remember you are absolutely squibblicious. Take care. See you next time. Bye.